Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can collect and track form data easily with Acrobat by distributing a form. Forms can be distributed by either email or an internal server. When you distribute a form, Acrobat creates a PDF portfolio that collects form data. By default, the portfolio file is saved in the same folder as the original form with underscore responses added to the original form file name. To distribute a form, open the form to distribute and then click the Distribute button at the bottom of the Forms pane to open the Distribute Form dialog box. This dialog box displays the two options for distributing a form, email or internal server. If you select the internal server option, then select the name of a saved internal server location to use from the adjacent dropdown if available. If not available, you will be able to save a location during the wizard that will then launch when you click the continue button. After choosing an option button, click the continue button to continue. If you select the email option, then you will step through a series of screens in the distribute form wizard that will let you create an email to which you can attach the form. Answer the questions posed and compose the email. When you click the Send button, the Send Email dialog box will appear so you can select the email account to use to send the email. When finished sending the email, Acrobat will launch the tracker window so you can track the form. Alternatively, if you select the internal server option but did not select a server from the adjacent dropdown, then the distribute form wizard will prompt you to enter a shared network location to which it can save the form, choose a send method to inform users to fill out the form, and save the network location you selected, as well as send a notification to selected form users. Answer the questions posed in each screen and click the next button at the bottom of each screen to proceed. If needed, you can click the Previous button to return to a previous screen and change your answers. Note that if you selected a saved network location from a dropdown in the first screen, you only need to send the notification to users within the wizard. When you have finished, click the Send button in the final screen to save the PDF to a shared location and send notifications to the selected users. When finished sending the email notification, Acrobat will launch the tracker window so you can track the form. Just as when sharing a file for review, Acrobat will also save the setting choices you make within the wizard into a server configuration file you can select from the dropdown on the first screen of the wizard in the future to share another form using the same settings. That way you will only need to step through the wizard again to share a form using a different server configuration if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.